Between them, they are respectively the funniest thing to come out of Birmingham and the funniest thing to come out of the dentist's office. It's Joe Lysa and Alan Carr! <laughs> You leave my wife alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hit him. Joe, hit him. Punch him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, we've really connected. <laughs> <laughs> have you got, like, uh, decade-themed team names? Have you got a team name? What have, what have you got, Jonathan? Well, we, initially, I came up with an idea which I thought was... It was not too much to do with the decade, more to do with what's going on now. I thought, because we're kind of... We're, we're sticking together and we're, we're always here, whether you, you can't get rid of us, whether you want to or not, so I thought we'd call ourselves the Unimpeachables, <laughs> right? <laughs> but we're not going with that, because when I suggested that to Stacey, she said, no, give us the reason. Cos I really like peaches. <laughs> I feel like it gives the wrong impression. Yeah. Yes, I think a lot of people would watch yeah. and think, oh, Stacey Solomon doesn't like peaches. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. there, well, then where are you going to be? Exactly. So what we've settled on, Jimmy, is we've been talking about the period that we're focused on tonight and we're both big fans. Of, we're genuinely big fans of this young man. We so are. we're going to call ourselves... The Believers. <laughs> Jason Bieber. The uh, true Believers over here. Jason are. Bieber? Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's how much Jason. a bigger fan <laughs> I am. <No. laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about saying... I'm sorry about <laughs> earlier when I said you were Stacey's dad. I think granddad is more appropriate. <laughs> OK, the believers. Uh, Claudia, Nish, what you got? You're, you're in charge of this. We're called Dexit Means Dexit. This is the end of the decade and we're exiting the decade and if we've learned one thing in this decade is that if you say something means something, it's not just a great thing to say, it's a completely viable way to run a government. <laughs> Uh, Alan, Joe, what you got? Lads, 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 cos that's what we are, aren't it, Joe? Yeah, we're a trio of lads. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, how's your decade been? I've got a picture of you ten years ago, Jonathan. So Let's have you... a look. Yeah, is this... This, is, this is how you look ten years ago. Wow! Oh. Oh. You look like Lauren okay. Llewellyn's Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, so, Stacey, ten years ago? I mean, no. Oh, oh, I don't look at that. I've got a picture of Claudia ten years ago. Now, uh, I mean, <laughs> looks the same. It's still it's, orange. It's, it's exactly the same. I found a photo of me where I wasn't orange, but don't panic. <laughs> I was. Now, Nish, you do not look like the same human. <laughs> oh. you, you can see the decade on my face. <laughs> here's Alan. Here's you. Oh, here's no, you ten don't. years ago. Oh. And that's when you were working as a Basil Brush tribute act? <laughs> 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 Look at I would not feel embarrassed about that for one second no. because <laughs> Joe Lysett ten years ago, treat yourselves, everyone. Yeah! <laughs> I've got to say, Joe, I think you're a very pretty little girl. <laughs> Environmentalists describe the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill as the worst environmental disaster in centuries, which left Chernobyl residents rolling their eyes. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> in 2012, a spate of celebrity tax scandals hit the headlines. Personally... <laughs> oh, well, wait for it! Personally, I had my anus horribilis, which is Latin for, I shat myself. <laughs> OK, so uh, questions on the headlines from the decade. OK, first up, take a look at this clip from BBC News. All I want to know is what 2015 news story was the reporter trying to recreate? And having made the holes, we couldn't resist seeing how easy it was to actually get through. I I'm told it's possible. It looks very, very, very tight. I'm also told the best way to do it is to use the Superman pose. So I'm going to put my right hand through first. <laughs> work my way through. <laughs> yeah, that's very tight. <laughs> Struggling to get my second hand out. Um... <laughs> that's just <difficult. laughs> good. I think you push from behind. Someone might need to give me a bit of a push. <laughs> OK. I've got my hand out now. Once that hand's out, it's possible to crawl out. There you are. I, I need a lot more information than just that. <clears throat> uh, what, so what know, news story was he recreating That's from what 2015? I'm you. That <laughs> Which one? That's what you're asking me. <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, Jimmy, how do you like it when you get questions? It's question <laughs> one. Just, like, act it out a bit more. Yeah. Where are they? Oh, you've what? got it, right, Jonathan? We've got it. Stacey? What? we got it. I'm on Tell Jonathan's me. team. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Next, oh, what 2013 scandal prompted a surge in sales of home meat grinders and mincers, mm. wiped 300 million from Tesco's market value, oh. and was described by David Cameron as a shocking story. That could have been our team name, Grinders and Mincers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? Oh. Okay. Shit. Would you like to change it? Can we change yeah, it? Yeah, Grinders and Mincers. No. Lads, lads, lads. Is grinders and Mincers. No, it makes me sound a bit gay. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very masculine, actually. Are you sticking or switching? I think grinders and mincers is fine. Grinders yeah. and mincers. Can we change it? Grinders okay, grinders and mincers, and mincers it is. <laughs> of course, it wouldn't be the big fat quiz if we didn't have an appearance from the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School. Here they are performing one of their very special school plays. We must rescue everyone. <laughs> We're three! Yeah! 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 They will need these. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. We have saved everyone! Yeah! So that was the, uh, the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School uh, obviously recreating the uh, Chilean miners uh, being rescued. Oh, uh, was that not a question? W oh. No, because we thought that was pretty easy. Oh, oh come oh, on! We've already filled I'm in. Really in. The miners were rescued, yay! We've already put that answer down. Yeah, we've oh, no, got the, no the, space. The, we haven't done the question yet. Well, you need to explain that, out. Jimmy. OK, well, here's the question. One of the miners, Yoni Barrios, wasn't met by his wife of 28 years when he finally emerged from the mine. Can you remember why? Why was Yoni's wife not there to meet him? Mm. No. OK, in 2010, a natural phenomenon caused Miley Cyrus to miss the London premiere of her film, John Cleese to pay £3,000 for a taxi <laughs> ride, and Sorry, David what? Attenborough... I thought a fire alarm had gone off. What was that? <laughs> that was when we both knew something and worked it out without yeah. speaking. And the thing we knew was the answer to your goddamn question. <laughs> You're like a neutral bullet with a fringe. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best thing anybody has ever said to me. Jimmy, get on fire again, Jimmy. Let's do it again. OK, all right. In 2010, a natural phenomenon caused Miley Cyrus to miss the London premiere of her film, John Cleese to pay £3,000 for a taxi ride, and David Attenborough to become trapped in the Arctic Circle. What was it? What happened? Look at David Attenborough. Isn't he got the sweetest... He's the sweetest man on the planet. Oh, do you yeah. know, this is really hard to write on here. Well, you don't have to write that, I was just chatting. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the answer. <laughs> OK, and finally, Nigel Farage has had quite the decade, OK? Oh, Culminating so in... fit. Hmm? <laughs> 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 OK, Nigel Farage has had quite the decade, culminating in the Leave campaign winning the Brexit referendum in 2016. But back in 2015, Farage's former senior advisor revealed they had Farageisms and used the initials PFL to describe something he liked to do once a week. Oh. What did it stand for, PFL? I think it might be this. If that's yes. it, I'm... Do I'm going to do a roly-poly. I think, I know, Nick, no. if, that's, if that's it, you're going to do a roly-poly. Well, sometimes I don't know how else to celebrate. <laughs> I mean, I'm very much looking forward to the roly-poly section of the show. <laughs> OK, you ready for some answers? Well, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, look at that. I mean, that's lovely from Grinder and Minter there. <laughs> I keep forgetting it! <laughs> <laughs> Grinder and Minter over there. <laughs> OK, time for some answers. First up, I asked you what news story from 2015 was this BBC news reporter gallantly trying to recreate by climbing through a hole? What did you put? Well, first of all, we thought maybe it was something to do with shades of grey. Or cheese. <laughs> Strong. Or, Strong. Or, or, or cheese. Yeah. Stacey was big on the cheese answer. Oh, it really what did looked you think like it had a to... big stone cheese, didn't it? Yeah. So yeah, I thought stone it cheese. Yeah. It yeah. did. <laughs> but no, we think we know the answer there is that is that he was demonstrating how the Hatton Garden robbers got in through the holes they drilled into the safe deposit box area. 
Chloe that Bohangan. is absolutely the right answer. Thank you. Claudia Nish, you got it. And Hot uh, Cheese is good, though. Well, what have you, you've written Hatton Garden, St Ives, but what, was the, what have you written above it? We've written Jimmy Looks So Fit, and if you want to give us a point for that, that's up to you. <laughs> Extra point for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, of course, the Hatton Garden heist. There were six men uh, burgled the Hatton Garden safe deposit company. Uh, reportedly took £200 million worth of uh, jewellery. The thieves were nicknamed uh, Mr Ginger, Mr Strong, Mr Montana, the Gent, the Tall Man and the Old Man. <laughs> I think the Old Man is a bit confusing in that group. <laughs> they all look like very old men. The one in the middle at the top looks like his neck has got legs. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, next I asked you, uh, what led to a surge in sales of meat grinders and mincers in 2013? <laughs> what, what did you put, Alan, Joe? The horse... horse meat scandal. Horse meat scandal. It was a scandal. <laughs> yes. About horse meat. Oh, about horses and their meat. <laughs> Nish, horse meat scandal, James. Uh, what, what did you get, Jonathan, Stacey? Well, first of all, Stacey, just about horses. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then I drew a horse. A, of a two-headed horse. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that is a scandal. Yeah, yeah, but then we put horses meat as well uh, because it was it was in lasagna, wasn't it? In, in lasagna. La lasagna. <laughs> oh, granddad. So, so it's not only meat. It's actually food. It's lasagna. It's lasagna. lasagna. Oh, you're not backing down on this. You're going it's, with it's lasagna. lasagna. It is lasagna. It doesn't matter because it wasn't lasagna. in lasagna. It yeah. wasn't That's, in lasagna. Oh, it, it was in spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> the horse meat scandal was pretty serious. There was horse meat in our food, but the guy from Iceland absolutely nailed the PR. Here's an interview he did. Constantly testing, checking, every week. Did we test for horse? No. But we haven't tested for dog or cat either. <laughs> Only might like be dog and cat. You can't test for everything. <laughs> it's not wrong. So you saw the children of uh, Mitchellbrook Primary School and asked you why Yoni's wife did not come to meet him when he uh, got out of that mine. Uh, what, what do you think? Well, we think... We, we don't really know, but we think, is he having an affair? Yeah, we thought maybe that it was revealed as an affair. Although you thought maybe she went to the wrong mine as well. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't, you don't tell the lovely people that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember watching this, yeah, and did you watch it? It was quite boring, cos they were down there for ages, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and I was wondering whether they could have put, like, a little Love Island spin on it and sent, like, halfway through, sent a fit miner in. <laughs> to spice it up a bit, you know. It's, it's, a, well, it's a very good idea. And the next time we have a minor disaster, <laughs> we'll definitely get, get you involved. Thank you. <laughs> Claudia, what did you put for this? Well, we, I didn't know. I thought it was that she'd been having an affair. Like, I, I seem to remember there was a story where a wife and a mistress turned up and met each other, and that's how they discovered oh, the affair. Oh, oh is that what it is? Yeah, I think yeah, so. And then, and then, basically, he was scuppered because he sent his washing up. They all sent their washing up to be done by their wives. That's it. And, and then his wife Hold went, on. I'm not is doing there... your washing and I'm not going to give it to your mistress to do, <laughs> so he had to beg the other miners to borrow clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Well, so while they were trapped in there, they were getting their cleaning done? Yeah. They were sending the wash... Why didn't they just go out the fucking hole at the washing machine? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't they do that? The hole was only five inches wide. Oh, uh, that'll do it. Now, what did you put for this, Stacey? Oh, well, we went with... We're tired of his lies. Well, we're not. The wife was. <laughs> we thought maybe she, she just thought he was making an excuse. Ah, oh, 39 days in a mine. Bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's like an excuse. Or oh. she was probably busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a busy mum. Yeah. If Joe said I'm trapped down a mine, will you come and meet me when I get out? I'd say, no, don't be ridiculous, I'll see you at home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't pick them up from the airport, right, after a couple of years? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I'm be. landing at 5am. OK, yeah. good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> see you when you get back. me up when you come in. <laughs> and bring me a Toblerone, you dick. Yeah. <laughs> no points, points, points. Um, OK, yeah, I asked you what natural phenomenon disrupted plans for everyone, including Miley Cyrus, John Cleese and David Attenborough. Yes. The we, yes. We all the know volcano? This, the Icelandic volcano. I'm yeah. going to need the name of the volcano. Oh, no. oh, oh no. it's a really oh, long one. It's you a are really not. Well, I'll tell you what, if you, could just, if you could pronounce it, you get a point. I'll put it up on the screen. Okay. You just pronounce it and you get a point. Okay. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> just pronounce it. It's very easy. Is oh, it is lasagna? It? <laughs> How do you think it should be pronounced, Jonathan? Eya faya yokul. Let's hear it. Eya faya yokul. Yes. Come on. He got it. He got it. Bonus points for Thank you.
He's got to get a bonus point for that. It was remarkable. Yeah. Um, OK, lastly, I asked you what uh, the Farageism PFL stood for. I'm going to go straight to Nish on this, cos you're a big fan of him. I have a suspicion it was pint for lunch. Um, now, uh, you're very close with that, but you're not right. Uh, oh! Alan, Joe. We're Pepper Army Face Lunatic. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And you, you've gone for, uh, Stacey? Well, I think, I remember reading it somewhere that his team said that he, he went out and he said he had to have a proper fucking lunch, is what he said. <gasps> that is exactly uh... the right answer, which he described as being three or four bottles of wine once a week, a proper fucking lunch. Oh, my God. Oh, you, would, wow. you would think, though, with that much wine at lunch, that maybe it would affect your decision-making abilities. <laughs> but... <laughs>